Hello, hello, pioneers. Today we are doing a tutorial on satisfactory calculator and making shapes, in particular, running roads and pivoting foundations, because this is a key component of having some really nice layout patterns. What I am going to do is I'm going to build a big setup here of nuclear reactors and I want to use the calculator to generate a particular shape. This foundation that's over here floating in the middle of the sky, it's perfectly fine, it's normal. That's my starting foundation for the shape we're going to do. What I'm going to do is we're going to flick over next to the calculator where I've loaded that save file up and we'll continue on and start creating that shape. Okay, here we are. Here's that foundation I was talking about. Here's me. I've actually zoomed in the browser itself because it helps with these hover things that pop up and it makes it easier for, uh, for a tutorial video to see. So while this looks really janky and out of order, it's okay. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go, we can go to a full screen and I'm going to zoom in on our platform here. This is a, a two meter foundation. That's going to be the basis of the shape we're going to build. The first step I'm going to do and what I want to point out is to the left of the word foundation there's an arrow pointing left. That's the direction that the foundations will travel when I use the road for functionality in the calculator next. I don't want it going left, I actually want it going straight ahead. So I'm just going to right click and rotate by 90 degrees. Now you can see it's pointing upwards. Now I'm going to right click on the foundation and I'm going to select spawn around foundation. I'm going to select road. Now if you're an honest person you would check this box here that says use material from your containers. That means you're not cheating. I'm a bit of a cheaty cheater and I couldn't be bothered flicking this button each time. So. I'm just being honest with you right now. My road is going to be a width of one and I want it to be six long. The direction only applies if you're using ramps and the curvature we're not worrying about here. And you can see now I added six. So this is where I started and there's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I wanted. Next is I want to pivot this foundation I want to head off this way. So to do that, if I right click now, there's this pivot foundation from the top left corner. The top left corner relates to that arrow direction. So if I was to pivot, and we'll just do one right now for an example, by 60 degrees, you can see this top left corner just pivoted by 60 degrees this way. That's not what I want. I actually want to pivot on this corner here. So I have to rotate the foundation around three times so that it's facing that way. And now the top left corner, when I pivot, is at 60 degrees, like so. Now that I've done that, I want to send the next road in this direction. So I need to rotate the foundation once so the arrow points the direction I want to go. Then I can spawn around. I can select road. And once again, I want this to be six in length. And this is the process I'm going to keep repeating. So we need to rotate rotate, rotate, and now I pivot. And what I'm building here is a hexagon. And you might say, well, smirking, <laughs> did you know that you can actually create hexagons in the calculator? Yes, you can. You can right click and you can go spawn around foundation and select a regular polygon. It can be a hollow or a plane and you can actually select a hexagon. However, for mathematical reasons, not gonna not gonna do it that way. I'm doing it this way for some very specific reasons about why I want it laid out this way. So I will continue just to do this quickly. And 
as you become familiar and understanding the concepts of this, you can uh, breeze through it rather quickly. Now, when I do the road here and I spawn my foundation around, you can see my sides are being one, two, three, four, five, six. But you've noticed that I actually, when I do the road, and I have a width of one, I'm selecting six. So really, it is actually seven in length. You can see it's that little bit longer. That's because I want this one, to, this is the pivot. That is the six. This is the beginning of the next one of six. One thing I recommend you do when you're playing with angles in the game is to stick to 10 degree increments because the game internally is oriented around 10 degree increments. If you start playing with values outside of that, you'll notice when you put water extractors down and a few things like that, they don't align very well and you're not going to have a good time. Not to say that uh, you can't do it. And the last one, I will do it at five. And there you go. That's the hexagon I wanted. Now I'm actually going to create another set of hexagons around the outside. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to select this foundation and I'm going to create one more outwards I want to pivot on this corner here and that's the top left no it's the other way So there's an undo button over here, very helpful. And in this case, when I said other way, minus 60, that's what I wanted. So now, I just keep repeating that process. So now I'm going to keep repeating this process. I won't talk you through the same thing over and over again, but you may see a fast forwarded video of it and then we'll come back to the end of it as we go. And there it is, folks. There is the hexagon pattern I was working towards. So now what we're going to do 
is we will uh, download the save file. We'll put that in game. We'll load it up. We'll have a look at it. And there we are, folks. That is the pattern that I was working on.